Hi, today we have with us Dr. Anish Pradhan, who after graduating from D.Y. Patil Dental School, Lohegao, went on to get the 4th rank in NEET MDS exam along with the 9th rank in INICT examination. He is going to tell us all about how he studied and achieved that score. I am Dr. Satish Kumar, this is Kaizen Dental. Our aim here is to help dentists succeed. Hi Dr. Anish, thank you for joining us today. Uh, the best thing about your scores is you have done well both in INICT as well as NEED MBS. So I am surprised, when did you actually start studying? How long have you been studying for and how many hours were you actually putting every day to get those scores? Uh, thank you sir, uh, it's an honor to be on your channel. So uh, I started studying like I decided I want to do MBS in uh, November 2020. So from November 2020, I started studying. Uh, the December exam, December 2020, 2020 exam, I uh, need MDS exam, I had attempted and I uh, had a rank of around 6,500. So uh, because I had not studied a thing, a single subject, but casual, that was a casual attempt. So after, from Jan 2021, I started uh, studying religiously. <clears throat> and also I had joined a clinic uh, but then uh, after June I decided that uh, no I want to do PG and uh, I have for to get in order to get a government seat I have to give it all so from June I did nothing except for studying uh, now about the hours which you have uh, which you have asked initially I was slow like five to six hours or maximum six six to seven hours but as the exam approached uh, four or five months before the preparation, uh, before the exam. It was around, anyway, around uh, 10 to 12 hours per day. Oh, that's quite a lot. <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> uh, it happens automatically, sir, because you have loads of syllabus. Sir. I never counted the hours, but it just happened automatically. So you picked up momentum as days went. That's actually good. Y yes. Yes. Sir. Great. Uh, you have done well, both in INICT and in EMBS. Okay. Is there any difference in study pattern you did for both? Are the question patterns different? What would you advise people who are studying and trying to attempt both these exams? Uh, yes, sir. Definitely the type of questions being asked in NEET and INICT are quite different. Uh, I mean, the obviously the subjects are the same, but uh, the thing is INICT will focus more on your clinical subjects, the dental clinical subjects, and hardly there will be few questions of the basic subjects, be it uh, anatomy, physiology, or even medicine and surgery but on the other hand neat mds is like it will cover each and every subject uh, be it even the smaller subjects like biochem there will be at least one question in neat mds from those subjects so uh, <clears throat> to start with i didn't uh, like i didn't start with uh, the thought in my mind that now i'm going to prepare for ini and now i'm going to prepare for neat it was just uh, i had I, I knew that i had to study each and every subject but as the exam approached, uh, I focused more on clinicals before I and I. And uh, <clears throat> before NEET, it was like clinicals were done before. So the base, I focused more on basics also. So just I equalized both the preparation, both the subjects equally. So when did you start? You started in December, you told me last year. Did you start with yeah. your clinical subjects <clears throat> first, non-clinical subjects, or you started both simultaneously? Uh, <clears throat> I didn't divide uh, during the uh, during my initial days. I didn't divide like that. I am going to start with clinicals or non-clinicals. I just picked up one subject at a time, gave it uh, one week per subject, uh, read it thoroughly from all the resources, and I just went on to the another subject. So it was not like I will do clinical first or non-clinical first. It was just a random uh, pickup of subjects. Understood. Uh, but a lot of people, when they're studying either clinical or non-clinical, okay, they have some subjects which are their favorites. So they keep reading that for like say 10 days, 20 days. And there are some yeah. subjects which just, just do not like. So they just read it <clears> throat> over throat> and above just two days or three days. How did you push yourself to read the subjects you don't like as well? So what was the motivation? <laughs> Before you listen to the answer to that question, please do not forget to hit the like button below if you're enjoying this conversation. Because the guests out here take out time from their schedule to come and join us. 
okay so i have a quite a few subjects which i dreaded during my bds days and i still <laughs> fear of those subjects uh, they are like uh, dm first of all then it's community dentistry then uh, medicine and physiology i i love those subjects but i cannot remember them so they were in this category and anatomy anatomy is like too volatile you cannot uh, remember anything yes so uh, i made a point that these subjects i i am weak in those subjects so i have to read those subjects every day whatever may be oh. the time i am allotting to it like for dm i used to uh, read dm every day because oh. the composition of all the cements and all the uh, everything else castings and everything it's very volatile you cannot remember it if you don't uh, reinforce that information again and again into your mind so after my first uh, reading of all the subjects it took me around 6 uh, months to complete all the subjects uh, thereafter i used to uh, read these subjects every day like be it half an hour or 45 minutes or even 20 minutes i used to spend some time on these subjects every day so that i can at least remember the, uh, those uh, volatile topics it's great advice you are given that people should not forget the subjects they do not like if you really yes. want to make it to the top you have to focus on those subjects as well <laughs> and keep revising them that's amazing advice yes. dokanish uh yes. now you told me about revision in 6 months you finished the entire thing and you started with your revision how many times did you actually revise yeah uh, that's a very good question sir uh, i have actually forgotten now that how many times i have revised one subject because uh, this year neat exam neat mds exam got postponed twice or thrice it got preponed in between there were fake news there were rumors everything was going on so uh, i i am i have actually forgotten how many times but anyhow i have revised one subject uh, minimum for 6 uh, to 7 times i can guarantee that and about those uh, weaker subjects i i never left them so okay. i never <laughs> so there was no question about revision for those subjects and uh, i i used to make a, i used to follow a rule like uh, you i had to revise one subject the first day then second day then one week two week then one one two month this uh, strategy like everyone knows this strat- strategy the forgetting curve and all those things so i used to just uh, blindly follow that rule and by that rule i could easily revise uh, one subject for 6 to 7 times at least understood you tell me about forgetting strategy okay so you follow the times you have to revise depending upon when you tend <coughs> to forget that thing other yeah. than that what all smart study tips do you have uh smart study tips like uh, i would like to tell all the aspirants like uh, just go through the previous uh, past papers be it iict or neat mds <clears throat> and uh, then understand what is being asked in the exam because nowadays we have loads of information at our hand and we don't know what to study from where to study and what are the important topics in a subject so just after you have uh, just before you start any subject just go go through all the past papers note down the topics which are repeatedly being asked in the exam because uh, these exams are being uh, conducted for quite uh, some mo- mo- quite a few years now and the topics are always repeated the questions will not be repeated but the topics will definitely be repeated so just note down those topics understand what the examiner's uh, mind is like what he wants to get from you and then just read up on those topics and then revise those topics that will be very beneficial to you understood that's good advice because a lot of times people just open a subject and they just keep on reading yes, continuously they do not understand yes, what is important what is not so that's a very yes, good sir. advice you have given out there a uh, one more question i have is how many books did you study from you revised like 6 7 times at least so were there like two books <coughs> 10 books 20 books how did you decide which books and how many books uh coming to the books sir uh, i think uh, everyone should follow this the basic mcq book like we all have this pulse so i basically i made my own handwritten notes first i used to read my own notes then i used to go to pulse uh, solve all the mcqs in pulse then the past year uh, questions which are available in uh, neeraj vadhwan tech uh, book uh, uh, the, so it was like my notes then pulse and then the past papers and i just kept on repeating these uh, three these were the basic uh, sources for my study and then there are quite a few extra books which are required uh i mean i won't say that they uh, they are absolutely required but it depends on you some of the extra books are like uh, gobind dr gobind rai garg uh, sir's pharmacology book there are some uh, important topics in that which we need to solve those mcqs then uh, for especially for inict uh, there are some 
questions which are asked in the INICT, which are direct pickups from the S, uh, senior residency exams of AIMS. Okay. So uh, these books, uh, there are also books for such questions like current dental examination book. There was one book like that. So I used to follow these books. And the major thing is like the first three things which I mentioned, like notes, pulse, and then past papers. Basically, you have to know what has to be studied and find content yes, related to that. For example, the book you told about SR Shift is really a, a good source because a lot of people yes, miss sir. out on that. And INICT usually tends to pick up on that. Uh, yes. Before we end today's amazing interview with you, one final takeaway or tip for the aspirants who are going to give this year or in the coming years, because you are an inspiration. You have cracked both the exams. So what would be your advice to them? Uh, one thing I would like to tell all the aspirants is that uh, just be consistent in your efforts because uh, now you don't know when will the next uh, NEET MDS exam will be conducted. Again, there might be something like it will be postponed or preponed or whatever. Just don't let those uh, news affect your preparation. Just uh, start slowly. Uh, initially then just increase your uh, hours per day don't study for 10 to 12 hours the first day and then just uh, study for two to three hours the next few days it's not like that you have to be consistent each day counts and the, you will have your share of good days and bad days so just find some source of motivation for those bad days and one important thing sir i would like to mention here is uh, plan your last seven days of preparation or last 10 days of preparation because uh, whatever resources you might have studied from it, it will be a waste if you won't revise all those resources in the last 10 days or last 15 days of your preparation. So just focus for those last 10 days or seven days of your preparation uh, and then everything else will fall into place. Uh, that's really good things you told. Major two takeaways is one is consistency. A lot of people start strong and then they get tired of it. So you can start slow, yes, but slowly pick up momentum. And the second thing is, yes, if you do not revise what you have studied earlier, it's completely waste. So planning your last yes. 10, 15 days is extremely crucial. Thank you, Dr. Yes. Anish. If you like this interview, do not forget to go and check out our interview with Dr. Ichita Joshi, who scored the 151st rank in her first attempt with NEET MDS.